I decided to open an Italian restaurant because that's what I've been doing for the last 11 years. I had 11 days of training in a kitchen before we opened this restaurant. That was my entire pastry career. <laughs> a friend of uh, ours had a, she had a funeral. And uh, this is depressing I, I decided to cook the food for after the funeral. Genevieve said that she'll make a couple pastries. Nancy Silverton walks into the house with sunglasses on and Nancy from the other side of the room starts yelling, who made this? Who made this? So Genevieve was nervous and she's like, I did? And she's like, this is amazing. This is what you gotta do. And that's how she started. She's good. Lori, you're not supposed to say all these things. It's embarrassing. Yeah, but I'm proud of you. You're fucking crazy. My name is uh, Ori Menashe and I'm the head chef of uh, Bestia Restaurant. And I'm Genevieve Burgess and I'm the pastry chef of Bestia Restaurant. And we opened this together. As a family. <laughs> Me coming from Israel makes a big difference on my menu. I use a lot of the same ingredients or ingredients that I'm comfortable with, and that's why it's very different than all the rest of the Italian restaurants in Los Angeles. Uh, this is gonna be an octopus carpaccio, so what we do is basically we boil the octopus with um, red wine and different spices, salt, and take it out of the liquid, and then we'll compress it. And this is the log that, that appears. I have a sauce here that's made out of uh, chopped anchovies. I add fish on octopus, because octopus is not that fishy. I want it to actually taste fishier. A small salad to complement this. That's it. Bestia means beast in Italian. Here, our philosophy is we try to make sure that we kill less animals. So this dish that I'm gonna show you right now is my favorite dish on the menu. So it's gonna be uh, chicken gizzards. And when we do get the whole animals, we'll use the tail up to the nose. Finish this with a little sea salt. That's it. Just like my husband, we don't waste anything. I'm making Moscato Zabayan. The yolks that we use for the zabayon, then I use the whites for the meringue on the top. You didn't get the peel. Fucking amazing. No. We met at a restaurant nine years ago called La Terza, which was Gino Angelini's other restaurant. And I started as a hostess, and he was a line cook on salad. Ori! Yeah. I didn't like him actually because he was very macho player, but we slowly kind of, I warmed up to him and saw his, that he has a really good heart. In a couple of minutes, she's gonna correct me and say that I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> she made me like to drink tea at night. <laughs> I'm so funny. It's Eat. kind of kind of weird I where I, 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 used, I, used, I used to drink beer at night, now I drink tea at night. Here, I'm gonna scoot you so that it's on the heat. Does that count as a correction? Yeah, told you. We do have a lot on our plate. <laughs> You're beautiful. No, I'm huge. You're Look, beautiful. whale. The whale is for, this is how I feel. We rarely get out for a night off, so we have to be very careful about where we choose because because we only get that chance once in a great while. Yeah. I'm getting, from our house. I was missing this curry. <laughs> Chef, I'm at the bar waiting, trying to order a drink, waiting for Shut you. Up. I don't know. Let's go, man. I'm hungry. Joining us was Alia, and she looks like a little lady, but she is our butcher, and she's one of the strongest people in the kitchen. And then we have Aluji, who's one of our bartenders here. He's a big pain in the ass. Right. Cheers. 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 
We decided on Wolf's Mouth because they're pushing the envelope. This is every day. It's the I cutest deal with this thing. Every day. It's We're really gross. Every day. Yeah. I, I deal with this every day. <laughs> <laughs> Someone yanked me in. Luigi, help me with the door. Oh, Luigi, help me with my butt. <laughs> <laughs> We're heading to Wolf's Mouth. These guys are awesome cooks. Yeah, this yeah. guy basically is uh, living a dream of a chef. He works in his apartment and cooks whatever he wants to 20 people three nights a week. These people are expecting something different. Crazy. I met Craig uh, probably a year and a half ago. We kind of see eye to eye with cooking, so we're 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 good friends. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Wolf's Mouth. If you don't mind grabbing your seat, please. We're just about to start. Thank you. Essentially, I started Wolf's Mouth uh, more off and on about seven and a half years ago and I really wanted to have a more intimate style gathering of just people that I, I would even have as friends, you know, or whatever, just like getting people together and being able to do the kind of food that I wanted to create, but in a way different environment that had the music that I wanted to play. It had the kind of feel that I wanted to have, which if you look around my space, there's taxidermy and shit everywhere and art because that's what I enjoy. Just so you guys aren't eating real quick, so this is a ribeye cap. Uh, broccoli stock and jalapeno slaw, pink lady apple, broccoli tempura, broccoli cheddar puree, and piquillo pepper with sherry vinegar. This is so good. I can eat like four of these, but then I would be full for the rest of the stock. His dishes seem like they're a lot, but then when you take one bite, it all makes sense. It's a uh, concentrated carrot, parsley, delicata squash, butter and squash puree, candied lemon jelly, Dungeness crab, skate wing, raw turnip, and then a uh, lightly pickled carrot. Have we ever had anything like this, Ori? No. Uh, no. Flavor profile is very different. Um, it's a really, really good dish. The way that I kind of like lay it out, like we went rib, uh, rib eye cap of the first course. I like to go up and down rather than like this, like the build up, because I just feel like it just you just get pummeled by a, a whole bunch of meat all at once. And you end up feeling gross. I, I want people to be to have a taste of menu and still feel like they can go fuck after. The balance is incredible. These flavors, it pops in your mouth like nothing I ever had. My favorite courses. Ah! Fucking brulee bananas. It's in my country and shit. Food was fucking awesome. Good seeing you. As really, well. really impressive. Always, always. Thank you. Let's go. Iluj, Alia. Don't make fun of me. How do I close this? Chef, you've never been to Tony's? Not once. Chef, what the it's hell? It's dirty. Ali, you're the worst date ever. Fuck you, I'm not your fucking date. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm gonna okay. kick your ass right now. Please just smile so fast. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go to gotta, Tony's. You gotta, you gotta bump it. It's a bar so right next this? to Bestia. It's actually, it's actually my first time there. This is, if I go to the bar for a drink, it will never be a drink. It will be five drinks or six Shots. drinks and then I, I'll, I'll get home And you'll drunk. wake up next to a Luigi and wonder what happened to your life. <laughs> You guys got to try these? You, Chef. Max. Hey, thank you very much. Yeah. No problem. To this guy. I kind of uh, de-stressed yesterday, so it was good. Ah, that's your door. It's like the fucking spot. I'm going to go to him all the time. I'm a European. I probably did like 
can't remember. Seven or eight shots, and then. But I had to make him coffee to get couple, out of bed this morning. A <laughs> couple glasses of wine and uh, some beer. I I could uh, I could drink, and not make a fool of myself. <laughs> not that I would mind making a fool of myself. Thank you guys for a great meal. Let's have this shot and let's head to Bestia to have some falafel. Oh Boom. yeah. yeah. Cheers. Cheers. That was good. Did you enjoy yourself? I didn't get a drink. You got a bunch of juice. But oh, since, I, since I didn't get a drink, I want a slice of pepperoni pizza. Okay, Two. fine. Yay! Can you slice? Can I get a slice of pepperoni? What up? I love pizza and eat stuff. It's unexpected how good the pizza is because you just think it's whatever. It's a pizza place. It looks very unassuming, but their pizza is actually really good New York style, like thin, crispy cheese, but not too much cheese, so it's not too heavy. And all their meats are really, really high quality. So the pepperoni in there, on there is really good. Look what he did. When you're pregnant, they give you extra oh, slices. It's so good. They wouldn't let me drink beer, so, because <laughs> everyone so judgmental. So I'm going to eat pizza. <laughs> Are you guys ready to make a munchies meal? Oh, yeah. Let's do it! Yeah. Woo! <laughs> okay, here. No, 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 no! Yeah. Uh, we're what? going back to Bestia. Uh, make a left. Let's go back to Bestia. We got Jesse Bronner on us. Some falafel and some some beer. Thank you, oh. What are you gonna make, Genevieve? I don't know. So, uh, I'm gonna think of something. It's gonna be sweet. I'm excited. I'll my leg, bitch. Hey, whoa, <laughs> you're excited. You need to fucking simmer down, all right? Yeah, some, some, some. <laughs> oh, what's up, boys? Yay, munchies. I'm excited. My munchies meal was popcorn. It's gonna be, it's gonna be very, very after marijuana, but I'm not doing that because I am pregnant, just so we're all clear about this. <laughs> I have some leftover caramel that I'm gonna use up, drizzle that, white dark chocolate, maybe salted peanuts, marshmallow goop. It's gonna be gross. <laughs> it's gonna be gross in a really good way though, not gross in a bad way. I made uh, falafel. Uh, with uh, house-made uh, pita bread. This is basically my dad's falafel recipes, and uh, we're gonna fry this up right now, and we're gonna make some fresh pita bread too. Then we have a couple different uh, Israeli salads or Middle Eastern salads, uh, some tahini, amba. I don't know if it's munchies enough, but that's considered munchies in Israel. Who wants this one? We would drink beer and then go and eat falafel, so. Fermented mango. Is oh, that? Nice. Called the amba. Mmm. So back then. 17 of you motherfuckers. Let's get cocktails going. I'm gonna go make cocktails again. Ori. When, when are you gonna open up another spot that has this? A uh, year. This is fucking amazing. Yeah. Wow. Milo! This is my... This is my pregnant fantasy. Oh my god, <laughs> yeah. It's so good. I will tell you my pregnant fantasy. <laughs> I know that the people from Wolf's Mouth can't wait for me to make it again, so... I, if, if they approved of it, then I feel like it's a success. My munchies meal was for me, so I, I enjoyed it. So I think that makes it a success. It satisfied my cravings, so I think that works. Is this your gift? You look so spiffy.